kind of funny when you order parts from Japan, overseas, you know, you get fortune cookies. I think, it's upside down. I don't know. Fortune cookie. Apparently they wanted me to have one of these things, so. Yeah, that came with my, my stuff. And what stuff might that be? Well, let me get there. Welcome back to our channel of stuff I do in the garage that you guys like me doing to that 1995 Chevrolet Impala SS. And today, look what finally came in. Mm -hmm. Do you see them? Do you see them? Do you see them? Right there, right there. What are they, you might ask? Well, let me show you. These, my friends, are little boxes inside of a bigger box. You can't tell. Most Plus, made in China. What do you at? Well, oh my goodness gracious. These would be some fuel injectors. They should have been here when we did the intake, but, you know, they just arrived here not too long ago. So, today's video, you got it. We're going to put some fuel injectors in an LT1 engine. Mm -hmm. Again, getting pretty used to ripping that thing apart pretty regularly in a weekly, bi-weekly cadence. So, let's get into it. So, considering we're going to be leaning over the fender, and we don't want to scratch it, don't tell Heather, but I stole a towel. I'm gonna grab one for the other side too. Next thing we're gonna wanna do, pull our fuel rail covers off. This just so happens to hold down our fuel rail to the intake. For those who have home plate, Home plate's a giant thing that looks like home plate. You're going to have two, I think, 10 millimeters and a big bracket and everything right here. You got to take that off, take it off from your hockey puck area, set home plate aside. You're probably going to have to remove the bracketry for home plate. A couple, ten, I don't know. Mine's been off for like 10 years. So this is where I'm at. I feel like I was doing this here very recently. Next step I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull off this here Schrader valve cap. I'm gonna put on my fuel pressure gauge. And it's just as simple as screwing on like a valve stem on car. And you're going to take your favorite beverage bottle, jam the release in there, and we're going to push this, this lever here. What that's going to do is if there's any pressure built up in the system, it'll through here, and it'll drain it down to your favorite drink holder. We don't have any. <sighs> Car has been sitting a couple days, so... She's drained. So we're good there. If you do get some in there, don't drink it. Not good. Next step, take your favorite t-shirt. Put it underneath your fuel lines. Get your fuel disconnect tool. Disconnect your fuel lines. Next step, pull your vacuum off of your pressure regulator. Simple as that. Then we're going to want to pull our fuel injectors off. At least have a little clip to push in, pull the fuel injector up. Quite simple. So now you're ready to lift. Go ahead and grab your fuel rail and just, you know, torque it out of there. Yes, at this set point, gently grab a pry bar. And hopefully you can pry bar it up. Okay. 
then we simply remove. They might have a little bit of fluid fuel coming out. Just make sure to empty that. So these injectors that I got, I got them off eBay, of course, filtered by the cheapest one. They're a 42 pound injector and you know, they got that weird little plug on them. And reason being that I replaced the injectors was, if you remember back when we were doing the intake video, our injectors here had like a little collar on them that they weren't really that great. Yeah. That's gross. Also, these are the stock injectors and they're 30 years old. So 1995, they didn't really have ethanol style fuel in them. Well, these new injectors should definitely uh, help with all that if there's anything breaking down in those injectors. I am definitely going to keep those, just keep them on the shelf, but, you know, it's one of those one of those things where if you just saw I was pulling, pulling slime off of that one. So definitely probably got something breaking down in, in there. We'll get them cleaned up, see what happens. And so now that we got our injector off, we're going to pop these little clips off and they will come right off. We'll just replace them one by one. I am going to put the clips back in there exactly how we got them in here because I think there's a something with um, getting to a crash. You don't want them to pop off, pop out of the rails, spill fuel everywhere, and then have a fire. So we're going to pop these off. Pretty simple. Just kind of twist them and slide them, and then should be good. But I'll work getting them off. Okay, let's go through and get these off. That was simple. Side by side comparison, pretty uh, similar. Plastic versus metal. I don't know what that's going to do, but I don't know. There's the bottom. The one's got a four spray pattern on it, the new one versus the OEM one, which looks like it's got a six. I don't know. We'll keep these around in case the these new ones don't work. Biggest thing I'm going to do, like the last time, just put a little bit of lube urge on them O-rings. I'm just using Croil. And we'll just uh, we'll slide them in if we do the right side first. So these new ones on the top have kind of a double groove on them. And the old ones just have a single groove on it. That's where that little clip slides in. So you got to make sure to line up those, otherwise they're going to be off 90 degrees. That's probably for Mustang or LS because these are kind of a universal jobber. Most plus, more plus, whatever. Yeah, like that one's all just, that's all gummed up up there. Not good. time to go through check out any of your wires make sure that they are you know not cracked or damaged or broken if they are replace them and from here make sure your fuel injector spots are cleared off you ain't got no little wires or anything get jammed in there and go ahead and reinstall sure I got it right oh yeah something like that under under you're in you're in back ones are in they're in slightly front ones are going in this 
this side way off. That's better. That's better. I think. I can't see. I can't see. Get in here. There we go. Better. 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 You kind of just wiggle them on. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle with you. Let me guide these on. I'm gonna put the fuel rail bolts and key things. I'm gonna put them in and hopefully help seat these down there properly because they ain't wanting to see. And this should help me get them down there. Took some wiggling. Got it. So at this point, you can go ahead and start plugging everything back in that you need to. Each fuel injector. Make sure they're plugged in. So now, let's back up our fuel lines. Simple as pushing them on there. So, tuck back, make sure they're not loose. Okay. Now, turn the key over and we'll look for fuel leaks. Okay, let's fire it up and see if we got any leaks. back EGR block off plate thing that I put on there. Can't all sound too healthy. I'm going to pull it off. Time for a wable pop. Oberon. Tis the season. Well, currently where I'm at, block off plate, she unblocked. Back to the way it was. Should hopefully fire up. We gotta put the fuel rail covers back on. But before I do that, I'm gonna polish them up. So let's 
Just let me show you how I polish those things up. Like this, you can see all those little scratches in it. What well, takes those off? Mother's mag and aluminum polish. This will make those things, you know, go Rihanna and shine bright like a diamond. A little bit of this old rag covered in oil, just because that's the one that I have. And just work it in like you're buffing it, and you will buff those out to a pretty shine. I'm also going to do the hockey puck cover on there too. That one's a little easier because it's on there. But these are nice to do because the hardware is out of them and you know they shine up and you can clean them up. So I'm going to get these polished up and see what they look like. There's a better look. Did that really quick and the side still needs to be done. But pretty, uh, pretty shiny. There you go. Pucks by, uh, polished up, covers there, you know, they're polished up now too. Nice little bit of that. I did pull the oil catch can off just to kind of see what's in here from the last couple runnings. We got a little bit of water in there, so definitely is working. Glad I installed it. So that's going to do it for this one. Installing fuel injectors on 95 Impala SS. If you guys made it this far, I want to thank everyone for watching. Please like, subscribe, share. Got plenty more to do. Power tour is about two weeks away. Got to detail the car up. Got to get into the AC. AC is going to be the max video. Um, freezing up. And, I don't know, I'll just knock out the rest of the junk that we got to do. So, thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you next time.